everybody. We got a good one for you today. We're going to paint this spoiler here with rattle cans and we're going to get professional results. So what I have is automotive base coat in a can. I ordered it online. I'll put a link in the description where I got it. My code is Toyota302. You can find that number in the door jam of your car. It'll have a paint code there. If you have any questions, drop a comment and I'll help you out. For the clear, we're using, this is a 2K clear. Very important, you'll get good results with this. It's two parts, it's what 2K means. And it has an activator. And once you activate it, you have a limited lifetime on it as far as how long you can spray it. This is pretty cool, this stuff works really good. Also, I picked up this spray gun handle here. You don't necessarily have to have it. It does make it a lot easier. I picked this one up at Harbor Freight, I think for about $4. And we have a tack cloth that we're gonna use to get any dust off. I'll go over that more later. So, the first thing we're gonna do is clean it up. I've got a glass cleaner here. You can also use with alcohol. Okay guys, we got the spoiler clean now. The next thing we're gonna do is tack rack the surface. Excuse the noise in the background, we have a train coming by right now. Anyway, I have the spoiler laid out like this. I plan to paint the bottom of it first, sitting upward, and then I'll spray the top of it after. That's what we're gonna do now. So we're gonna take our tack rack, open it up like that, and then I'm just gonna simply ball it up like this, gently go over the surface here, and this is gonna pick up, like I said, any dirt. We're going to put a very light coat on it right now, a tack coat if you will. We're going to come back over that. Each pass you do, you're going to come back and overlap it by 75 to 80 percent. All right. Also, we're going to start out by getting all of our edges. We're going to go ahead and do that first. This outside here, we're gonna get the majority of that once we flip it over. But I do wanna go ahead and take care of this edge right here because it's gonna be sitting on the box. And as I'm spraying, I don't want any dirt or dust to come up off the box on it. So it's in a good position now to go ahead and cover it. This is just a tack coat. I want to give it maybe a minute or two to dry, then we're going to come back and do our coverage coat. Ready for the clip. 
clear. And there's uh, two parts in this clear here. There's a hardener and the clear. And to activate it, they give you this plug on top, pull it out, and you'll depress this pin right here on the bottom with this cap that allows it to mix. And you're still going to want to shake it after you do that. So let's go ahead and do that. Put it in the center. Press. Make sure it's good. We're going to go ahead and shake it, make sure that it's mixed up well. key is to get it wet just to the point to where it's almost going to run but not run if that makes sense all right guys and we are done we're just gonna let this thing dry before we try to move it if you have any questions or anything leave a comment below if you like this video don't forget to smash that like button and we'll see you next time